Hey everybody, today on Rotter Runs Through, we're playing Turing Machine. But before we get going, please turn on your subtitles to Klingon channel for any rules goofs. And here we are, friends, the Turing Machine in all of its glory. Um, if you don't know the story about Alan Turing, he is a legendary figure in the uh, computer science field. Uh, please check it out on Wikipedia. Um, just really interesting, fascinating story, and also very sad what happened to him uh, during his lifetime. Uh, he was helping the Brits during World War II crack codes, and he came up with a Turing machine, uh, which is sort of like a prototype of a computer back many, many, many decades ago. And we're going to be using that in the game to crack our own code. Uh, what we're doing is coming up with a three digit code numbers uh, one through five. We're going to have those, uh, one of those, or three of those digits in a code and we're going to use uh, these verifiers the Turing machine um, to help us deduce it now we are playing a solo game so we're just going to uh, uh, play against a uh, an AI but what what's really cool is there's an app friends and I'm using the app right now uh, this is the um, code for the solo mode I'm uh, doing this puzzle right here uh, you'll be able to find that in the show notes I'll, I'll put that there and I've written it here and what this app does it's wonderful it has millions of puzzles that you can do. So there's literally almost in, uh, just infinite replayability because when you get first get the game, here's the rule book. It gives you 20 puzzles, okay? Uh, going from uh, starting with difficulty level uh, one all the way up to 20, and there's 20 of them. But again, just scan the QR code. You're gonna go to that app, um, the website that I'm showing on my phone, and there are a ton of puzzles to do. So I didn't want to spoil anything, you know, from the rule book because when you get the game. Those twenty will still be able, uh, still be there for you to do. So I'm not going to spoil anything. We're going to use the app here. Okay. So I'm trying to beat the machine, which we'll talk about at the end of the game. But in a multiplayer game, what you're doing is trying to be the fastest to deduce the code. Um, so whoever does it in the fewest guesses wins the game. All right. So I'm going to jump right into it. Thank you again for watching. I'm going to start with a code. So you just pick any code. Um, I'm going to pick hey the the OG. LA area code 213. Okay, so that's my code. That's what I'm guessing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these verifiers. I have to get the little punch cards because that's what uh, computers were like back in the day. There's punch card computers. That's what the Turing machine was. So I'm going to get a 2, a 1, and a 3. And as you can see here, each number uh, is... Um, each number go, uh, corresponds to a different color and a different shape. So we got two blue triangle, a, a yellow square, and a purple circle. So there's my 213. Now, how am I going to figure out if this is the correct code? I'm going to start with any one of the verifiers. So in the round, I've done the first step here, which is propose a code or a make a proposal, which is a code. Uh, the second step, which I'm going to do right now, is to ask up to three different questions from our AI uh, Turing machine here. One of the verifiers you can ask um, uh, one or up to three per round. And then at the end of the round, you're going to analyze your information. So I'm just going to start with this one here, letter A. And what you do, notice how when I did the two and the one and three, that these three shapes lined up, the circle, the square, and the triangle. Let me make sure it lines up there. Okay. And it's going to leave one uh, little square open. What you do is take your verifier and line up the shapes just like I did with the numbers. And then this is going to, ooh. This is going to give you uh, information. So I've lined up everything based on my code, 213. This verifier has, uh, I have passed the test. So the test in this case for this first verifier, was this um, triangle even or odd? Okay. And based on my number, it is number two. That's an even number. So now we know this is true. So I'm going to take my writing utensil, my pen. This is verifier A. I have gotten a true uh, here. So I'm gonna, uh, this is your notepad uh, and your scoreboard. So what I'm doing is for the 213, now I know that the triangle equals even. Okay, because once again, I have an even number here. It doesn't mean that it's two, it could be either two or four. So process of elimination, it cannot be five, it cannot be three, and it cannot be one. Okay, so what that's what you're doing throughout the game, folks. You're just going to gather little bits of information from the verifier, uh, the, you know, the Turing machine, and then you're going to eventually be able to deduce that number. So we know the first number in the code is going to be 4 or 2. We, we shall see. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Again, you can pick any one you want, and you can you don't have to do three questions in a round if you're 
super smart, which I am not. Um, I you can ask up to three. So I'm going to do this uh, next one. We'll just go in order. Let's go to ver uh, see what uh, B verifies. There, this test. This verifier verifies which color's number is larger than either of the others. So let's see if it's going to be the blue is larger than purple and yellow, yellow is larger, or the purple is larger. So in my test, I have uh, the uh, square being smaller than the other three. So let's see. This is basically testing. Is the square smaller than the triangle and uh, the purple circle? So here's letter B, the verifier. Once again, we line it up. Oh, wow. So it is a true. I passed the test. So this is going to be true. Now, again, it's not true that it doesn't have to be true that the one is uh, going to be the number, but it is true that the square is smaller than those. So I'm going to put square. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I, what am I doing, folks? This says it is not. Okay. I'm looking at squares uh, larger. No, the squares of uh, one is obviously not going to be larger than any other number because the numbers are one through five. There's no zero, no decimal points or whatever. So we have to figure out this verifier is saying my test is true. So let's look at the numbers that I have. I have a two, a one, and a three. So it looks like my number three is larger than this. So the purple is larger than these. Wow. Okay. So letter B, we've gotten the pass. So we know that the circle is larger than the square and the triangle okay so the circle is larger than the triangle and okay so i want okay here okay so it could be five okay so again that's um whoops my little post-it just fell <laughs> um this says hey that's true so let's put the verifier back and then we are going to uh go to the next verifier Okay, so let's go on to this verifier here. So we've got some bits of information. Let's continue. We're going to go to letter C verifier. Uh, let's see what question we're going to be asking here and what test. Uh, this verifier is going to verify if the sum of all the numbers is even or odd. Okay, so we're looking, going to do a little math here, folks. So not my strongest suit. Um, we're going to line up all the things. Hey, this says it is a pass. So we have passed all three tests. So two, one, three, that is three plus, so that is six. So now we go here, we know the sum is going to be, sum is going to be even. Okay. So I wonder if the code, would the code be two, one, three? Uh, do we take a guess? Do we take a stab right now? I don't know about that. I would like a little more information. So we're gonna put this one back here. Now this is the end of the round and in a multiplayer game, you would um, put your thumbs up if you think you know what it is. So. Uh, you, you simultaneously reveal thumbs up means you're ready to crack the code. And if you are correct, you win the game. Uh, you just check the answer in the book or on the app. If you put your thumb down, then you say you want to do another round. So in this case, as a solo game, I'm going to do thumb down. I want to continue. Uh, so we go back to step one. Again, the steps are you're going to compose a proposal. You're going to ask questions up to three verifiers. Then you're going to analyze your data and hopefully deduce uh, the solution. But I'm going back to the start here. So uh, let's put 213 back. Uh, now, we do have some good bits of information, folks. Uh, as you see here, uh, there's two, one, did I just put a three back here? Okay. Um, there is a two right there. We do have some bits of we, we can pass all three tests. So we know that the triangle is even. So it's either two or four. We know that the, uh, was it the, oh, it was right here on my notes. The circle is going to be larger than the other uh, symbols, so the other numbers. The circle is going to be the highest number. And then we also learn that the sum is going to be uh, even at this point. Okay, so let's compose. And now you're going to compose a new guess based on that. So I know here it's either going to be a 2 or a 4. Let's try a 4 for that first one. Since we did 2 here, so I'm just going to write a code here, 4. And then for the second one, we know that the uh, circle has to be larger than that. So why don't we do, um, well, we'll do a four, another 4. Let's do four. Now we also know that the sum is going to be even. So why don't we do this? Instead of four, we're going to go with a, uh, actually, no, I'm okay with the four. Four, four, and a five. So we know that the circle is going to be the largest number. So that's the here. We know that it's uh, the triangle has to be an even number. So that's that. And we also know that the sum of everything needs to be even. Oh, this is 13. Look at that, folks. 
four plus i don't know how to do math i told you it wasn't my strongest suit so i'm gonna put this four back we're gonna hazard a guess let's do four three five how about that so that means the circle is bigger than both and then the sum is four seven twelve okay so four three five is our second guess uh this is round number two uh let's go uh let's go back up let me see we've done these three tests let's find out if a number repeats itself in the code okay so again this verifier it's going to tell you if there's going to be a, a triple number a double number or no repetition okay so right now we have no repetition let's see if that is true take the verifier and uh, y'all can make your own computer noises at home while you're watching. I'm going to go beep, beep, bop, bop, boop, boop, boop. Oh, we have a fail, a false test. So 435 for letter D is going to be false or a fail. So we know that uh, it is not no repetition. So it's either going to be a triple or a double. So either a double or triple repetition. So that means we're looking at some numbers that are the same. So four three five uh so it's either gonna be four three so hmm it could be five five four. Ooh, look at that folks if we do a five five four it's gonna be five plus five equals ten plus four is fourteen that would um that would make it a double it would also mean that the circle is bigger than the other ones uh the sort of the triangle is still even and then the sum is even as well Ooh, I feel like it's going to be five, five, four. I'm just making my notes there. That's going to be a guess. Do, am I confident in in my guess? Do I want to go with five, five, four? I oh boy, um, this one. I mean, we've asked all the questions. We would just have to figure out this last one here. Um, I feel like okay, that's going to be end of the second round. Now, I I I don't feel like we need to ask these questions again. Because we already know it's um, uh, this is going to be well, it's either going to be two or four. Um, I mean, we could ask if it's uh, put a, uh, the next one, put a two, and find out for if we're right. But you know, what? I'm going to go stop the round there. So we've got one, two, three, four questions asked so far. So far, a four, three, five. We know it's going to be a double or a triple repetition. Okay, so we're going to put this one back. And now this is the part where I, I've sort of mixed up the the, uh, the, um, the analyzation and the um, uh, second uh, the question. So you're supposed to question, make your notes, and then analyze the data. I've been, you know, I sort of do that all, all at the same time here. It's a solo game, so um, y'all are y'all are gonna help, hopefully y'all can give uh, help me out here through the magic of the internet. Is it five five four? Um, oh man, oh man. So it could either be it's gonna be a, a repetition. So we know it's not this for here, five, five, three, one for sure, but that still leaves a lot. Okay, so if we know this is five, well, okay, this was true, the circle bigger being bigger than the other ones. Okay, so we know that the square cannot be five. We have to eliminate that because this has to be bigger than the other ones. Okay, so that's eliminated for sure. Okay, so we know this is a five. Um, I mean, it could, well, no, I, I don't want to go get ahead of myself. It could be like four, three, two. No, because that would be nine. Uh, it could be four, four, two. Oh, it could be four, four, two. That would make it eight. No, no, because this would be the same number. We don't want similar numbers. Could we do a four, three, two? Uh, four, three, two. No. So the smallest, uh, the this number, these numbers have to be smaller than this. Okay, so this, I don't think this is a positive just yet. Okay, so we're going to go to the next round. I've asked, asked one question here. Now, do I, let, let's, I'm going to, uh, I will, okay, I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to ask another question. So this is the third round. I'm going to ask the 435. I'm going to stay with this, but I'm going to ask a different verifier. Okay, and actually, you know, now that I think about it, I, you know, I have up to three questions per round. Uh, let's just pretend I'm, I'm going back here because I have three questions per round. It doesn't make sense for me to stop that round after one question, right? So we asked uh, letter D. Now you can't ask the same verify the same questions, you know, obviously because you have this uh, this your guess here. I am going to go with um, this one here. We're going to verify if it's going to be the even number four. Okay. Okay, no, it is an even number, I, and that was a mistake on my part. Okay, question there. That, uh, we already knew that, and we knew this one here, the sum is 
712. We knew that. So it basically comes down to that, like, like I said earlier. So why don't we do that? So we're now we're in the third round. We're going to verify this. And it is another X. So we know it's not 435. Okay. 435 is not it. Okay. So it's got to be a double and a triple or a double number or a triple number. Oh, why did I ask that one? I shouldn't be asking that. I should be. Oh, see that I made a mistake. I shouldn't. Okay. So I'm going to end that round and we're going to make this a four. Now I think it's four, four, two friends. Four, four. I mean, two. Ooh, could it be two, two, four? Two, two, four. Oh man. Because see, I, I made a mistake there. I should not have asked. I don't, I don't know why. I was, I got flustered. The machine is a uh, uh, going haywire on me. So I'm gonna try two two four. I'm hoping that's going to be the code because here it is. Again, based on our notes, the triangle has to be even. That's an even number. The circle has to be bigger than both those other numbers. It is no, it's not two two four. Aha. Glad I'm checking my work, friends. Okay, two, two, four. That satisfies that. The sum must be even, two, four, eight. And there should be a double or triple number. So I was thinking five, five, four now. Now I'm thinking two, two, four. So I'm gonna put my yes here, which I did, two, two, four. We're going to check here. Is it? Is there a double number? Yes, there is. Bum, ba, da, da. So two, two, four, we have done that. Now we're going to check the solution. So. Uh, if you're, it's your first time playing, you're playing the book, you would look in the book for the answer, but I'm playing one of the millions of, uh, uh, some puzzles on the, uh, app here or on the website, turingmachine.info. I'm going to go to the machine. I'm going to input 224, 224 and verify. This is the correct code. Yay. Now be on the app. You're going to see if you do beat the machine. I don't think I did, but what you do is you're going to input your question. So A, I got right the first round. B, I got right the second round. C, I got right the third round. Or first, first round, I got A, B, and C right. Then you add a round. The second round is I got A right, and then I got D wrong, or it was a fail. Uh, third round is another fail for D. And then the fourth round, Oops, that was a fail. And the fourth round, we got it right. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guesses over four rounds. I'm pretty sure I didn't defeat the machine. Turing machine beats me. What did they? So one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. This is me. Uh, I found the code, but I didn't beat the machine. The machine did it in two rounds with four questions. Whoa. So they basically, oh, they, they crushed me. But that's the machine. And then here you have the uh, solution. The code was here. We got it correct in seven. Uh, so in the solo game, again, you just you try to beat your own score. But with the app, you can try to beat the machine. Um, and then here's you. If you were stumped, if you got it wrong, you can hit solution. Ask you if you're sure. Press yes. And then it gives you all the um, solutions here. So verifier A, the number was even. It's either a two or a four. Uh, letter B verifier is the circle is bigger than a triangle and square. Letter C, the sum is all even. And then D, there are, um, <coughs> excuse me, two values that repeat uh, in this uh, code, in which it did here in the 224. Okay, so we have cracked the code, but the machine beat us to it. If you'd like to hear my final thoughts, please click on the I on the top right hand corner of the screen or in the show notes blue, below or Wait for it. Five, four, three, two, one.